sine x cosine x and this guy becomes reduce this minus 1 over sine x cosine x okay so obviously there's a fair amount of work coming here to the same answer okay to the same answer but the only reason why I did the problem this way is you know what the answer should be so if you use the product rule and all the other properties that we learned today, all the other rules we learned today, and see that you get the answer zero. Yeah? Where did the two go? Which two? Which two? You have one half. One half? Where? Oh, that's cosine squared. Cosine squared looks like one half. Jeez. Oh, okay. okay, that makes way more sense. Yeah. What is the, oh. Yeah, the two got canceled to give me a one. Okay, but Well, yeah, well, you can see what I have to go through when I'm grading 160 papers. Okay, so, so you feel for me, right? Yes, thank you. But Monica, too late. The tangent x, cotangent x, the product. Okay, so we've got, so what you're going to do is you're going to say keep this and differentiate that using the product rule, okay? So you're going to keep that and differentiate tangent x. You're going to use rule number 15 to get that. So that's, that's right. Okay? All right, so again, what I'm saying is that even though you may have this with you all times, okay, if you don't look at it and study it and you don't know where to look, it's not going to be of any use at all. And by the way, you guys know you have a quiz on Tuesday. Okay, you guys do this and then we are done. And please use the quotient rule here. Do not flip this over, Henry, and make it tangent x. I know you like doing things the easy way, which is good. But